guys, welcome to the last day of the challenge. Today's recipe is somewhat of a lifesaver. It's a lifesaver because <coughs> Marvin thinks so too. There are days that you <coughs> spill on your stove <coughs> and you, just a moment, buddy, do you wanna come here please? There are days that you spill food on your stove and you just cannot get that grime off, right? You feeling me? This recipe is going to help you with ease. It's a stove top cleaner. And so I know, you know, in at home, like where I when I grew up in the in the good old days, we used to use something called Jif or, cr or cream cleanser, right? And so this is going to be your replacement for that. What I've done is I I've cleaned out a jar of Meredith's goat's cheese because amazing and I'm gonna store it in here and it's a really really simple recipe you'll be surprised at how simple it is to make it it's gonna come out as a paste so that all you do is then just scoop it out and leave it on your stove top for a few minutes before being able to just wipe off the grime it's incredible so first of all um, it's, it's really really simple you're going to take a third of a cup of salt or a quarter, whatever, whatever you want to do. The same amount of baking soda. The recipe calls for apple cider vinegar. I'm using white vinegar, same, same. Only a um, tablespoon, it's frothing. Now, obviously when you put bicarb and vinegar together, it does froth, that's like part of it, right? You're also gonna add some water, just two tablespoons of water, and stir it all in together, and it's gonna start creating that little um, paste that I was just telling you about. Today's oils of choice are melaleuca or tea tree and lime. Those two together are just magnificent. And I'm gonna pop in five drops of each. Tell me someone who doesn't love the smell of tea tree. You know, so yummy. And then lime as well. The two together are yummy, yummy as. Mix it in. And then just pour it into your glass container and use it whenever you need to clean your stove top. So what you'll do is you will smooth it on to the stove Leave it for five minutes and then take a damp cloth and just wipe it off and all of your grime will come with it. So just check out the consistency before I hit stop. Can you guys see that? You see how it's like, like a runny paste. Yeah. You got it? Okay. Good luck. Have fun with it. Tell me and tell us what oils you've chosen to combine together, what you love. Oh my goodness, this smells so good. Mm. And also show us some before and after photos of how this removes your, your grub and your stains on your stovetop. See ya.